are now available on Tata Sky channel number 526. Clearly, passing RERA is a landmark move for the real estate industry. This bill will not just affect the real estate industry, but will also impact other sectors like private equity investors as well. My colleague Aishwarya Baliwal caught up with Sunil Rohakale of ASK Group and asked him about the impact RERA will have on investments going forward and if we will see banks lending more to the sector. Listen in. This all would definitely increase the confidence level of the foreign direct investor. My sense is that he would get an opportunity to evaluate every business uh, opportunity um, with a lot of transparency. He, could able, he would be able to see through uh, how this whole project is going to get translated into a finished product, will be generate cash flows and subsequently the returns to the developer and the private equity fund. So I feel very clearly international investors will see this as a very positive move to look at Indian uh, real estate actively. India being a bright spot amongst the globe and definitely among the emerging market, I clearly feel the allocation of Indian real estate uh, by the global investors, by the pension fund, by the insurance uh, uh, funds or fund of funds will definitely increase. And that's a good news for all of us. Do you think banks will now start investing more into this sector? Since, you know, traditionally they have not been so keen into putting money in real estate. But do you think those floodgates will open now, especially after RERA? Uh, the banks would not really move into investing into Indian real estate because there is an inherent constraint by the re banking regulator on investing into uh, uh, alternate assets like private equity or private real estate. The reason being, uh, the Reserve Bank of India wants banks to concentrate on lending businesses, correct? So what would happen though is that banking system will look at actively this real estate as a sector which probably also got lending from the banks but I think the percentage uh, penetration of uh, banks to the real estate lending would definitely go up because there is a protection for the uh, the end customer, there's a protection for the banks through surface protections, which was always there, but the projects will complete on time. Uh, the project would compensate if there are delays, they will not be changing plans. Uh, so likelihood of uh, the projects being on track, generating income and having the security which gets more bankable would attract banks to look at the sector uh, uh, actively. That's what I think. You can watch live TV on our website mpnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magicbricksnow. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.